collection time. And um, I just had a friend reach out um, to see how I'm holding up, but not necessarily about this. She actually doesn't know that we're starting again, again from America, but because um, on Facebook, our friend who took in our beautiful baby Holly, our dog from the US and we moved, um, had to make the decision to put her down. And so they haven't put her down yet. That happens um, tomorrow or Monday in America, so closer to my Tuesday. But um, I've known for a couple of days and so she just put an announcement up saying that it was coming. And so, yeah, my friend just checked in to see how I'm doing. And, um, yeah, it's it's been um, really hard. She's had a really good life. She's, like, 13 years old as a Black Lab Rottweiler mix. Um, so that's quite a long time for them. But I'm, I'm pretty heartbroken. Um, I've been processing it for a couple of days and there's a lot of grief tied in with it and um, yeah like we trained her to be a family dog we had her since she was eight weeks old we um yeah I just so so much is tied into that and we knew it was going to be coming I guess I just didn't realize how soon it was going to be coming. Well, not soon, but yeah. Like she's been on pain meds for a long time and um, she now can't really get up the stairs, which is where Bella, their daughter's bedroom is. And she sleeps with Bella like every night and can't do that most nights anymore. Sometimes can't get up to get a treat anymore and she's very food motivated um, yeah so she, she just can't do most things and they're getting ready to leave um, and they're going to be traveling a lot and um, the vet just doesn't think she'll make it through that anyway so yeah it's don't quite know what to say about it. It's just part of a life, I guess. But I just didn't realize how much other emotions. I mean, I knew I'd be sad when this day came. Um, I guess technically it's not quite here yet, but also just preparing for that too. And like, I can't be there to say goodbye and I can't, you know, cuddle her again yeah Chad got her as a birthday present for me when I turned 25 and um Yeah, like that was after three years of infertility and after having to be apart for seven months and all that kind of stuff. And she helped us through a lot and we traveled a lot together. And um, yeah, I'm really going to miss her. And I love my Chloe girl here. Um, but as I've shared, like that also brings a lot of challenges. Um, and Holly was just easy and sweet and giant. <laughs> she was like an 80 pound lap dog who loved everybody and 
yeah anyway I'm grateful for the life she had and um, yeah we're gonna miss her so I, I've just been looking at lots of photos recently and remembering the good times and um, cuddling Chloe lots extra and um, yeah wishing that family the best right now because um, like I know and I have another dog Dozer that was a puppy when they decided to take Holly in and so that you know Dozer is just he'll be devastated that they, they do everything together and of course their daughter like I said like Holly would sleep with her and yeah she's a uh, teenager now and it's just yeah it's just the whole thing's just a lot and so they've had her it would have been just shy of five years but they've had her um but their daughter was 10 when she came so like yeah so I feel for us I feel for them um and just yeah, losing family is always hard. So I just wanted to share with you a couple of photos of our first baby. <laughs> Get into a cycle of writing. So I've got two coming up in two weeks. 